हेलो हेलो गुड इवनिंग Good evening. Hi, good evening. You may start the class if you want. Say hello to a classmate. No, thank you. <laughs> oh, come on. I didn't notice you guys sent some videos to, to the WhatsApp. Who's just... Yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, that was you. Hey, yes. Mm. I'm sorry. My, my whole Instagram and my whole TikTok is about English, so I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Yes. It's fine. Yes. It's okay. That's Adele. Right? I think that that was Adele talking on the first video. Though. Thought. Through. Throughout. Through difficult. I know tough, tough. Hey, that's a good one. Thaw, thought, through, throughout, throw, throw. That's difficult. Throw, minus you're so throw. You're so throw. You're so follow. <laughs> you're so throw. Okay. And difficult, tough, tough. And there's no pronunciation for tough. If you're going to share something, Erica, make sure it's the full video, okay? It's not broken in pieces. Erica. Okay. Yeah. How, how do you say in visto in English? What? How do you say en visto in English? You. <laughs> Mirado. View. <laughs> to view. <laughs> view when, view when, view when. Hello, Daniel. Good evening. How are you? Hello, hello. Nice and you. I'm Relax. doing great. I'm doing great. I'm actually happy because. Nah, I'm not happy. Now, nah, yes, I'm happy. I was able to 
accomplish. It's just that when you have a goal, you know, you just go step by step. And if if what you're doing really worth it, you know, you love what you're doing, then you feel great success on every step you perform. You go like, yeah, that's good. Yes, that's good. And another step, another step. It gives you happiness in the end. No matter the frustration, no matter if you have no money to complete a car. <laughs> you you i mean every everything you do but it's, it's funny you know because you plan everything and one little piece can make you fail on the whole day so uh, but you learn you learn from experiences i mean that's the most important part i have a question for you so we can warm up so we can do a little warm up here in the class. Um, I don't know how to formulate the question. And um, what do you think? I'm gonna say since this is this has to do with the topic on your workbook, the topics that we're covering, which are most of all related to training, right? If you remember last class, we talked a lot about hiring trained employees, how to train the workforce, different training methodologies, well, approaches. Approaches, we talked about the feedback, which is my favorite part, feedback. Let me, let me do a quick review. Uh, last thing you did was talking about skill development, self-development, and feedback. You did a great job, actually. So this is related. This first question is related to this. So what do you think an amazing, I'm going to say amazing um, English training must have? So I need your help. I'm conducting an investigation and this has taken me 10 years. For 10 years, I have been studying, you know, like why you as students uh, do what you do? Why do you say what you say? When, you, when you're speaking in English, most of all, why do you um, have the same areas of opportunity in common because I have taught from basic to intermediate to advanced to business people, you know, and I have given speeches um, in public, you know, in, in, in an audience, in, in a big audience, like three times in my life, I have given speeches in English and it's been amazing, but I have identified areas of improvement on each level. And in advanced, it's also common. I mean, you can find still um, areas of improvement, especially in this course. So the question is, what do you think an amazing English training must have? So what should we, should you include if you were to develop an English course, what would you like to have? But be honest, be totally honest. If you think that a handsome teacher should be included on the training, then yes, say it, right? Okay, that's the point. So this is important because we need to identify uh, different trainings for different jobs. We have to come up with a list of trainings related to different jobs. So your task, your task today, your mission will be to identify different jobs and find uh, different training options. I'll start this session with a video. Don't worry, this will not be a boring class. I swear to God. So let's do it together. First, I'm going to do the attendance as usual. 
I only have one student sidewise, and that's that in Antonio. Oh, I have two students. Now I have Nelson too. Oh, I have three students. Adriana, hi, good evening. Thank you. Okay. So three students. Let's do the attendance. <laughs> I have four students. Oh my god, don't do signs here. No signs with your hand your fingers. The government is is watching this class. So if you do signs with your fingers, that's dangerous. Oh my god. There you go. Oh my god. How do you say que also in English? Okay. Adriana Jose Serna Durán. Present. Excellent. Daniel Antonio Luna. Present. Excellent. Erika Jasmine Martinez Carpio. Present. Awesome. Hector Francisco Morales Rico. Good time. Present teacher. Excellent. Ivan Petrovic Guzman Aquino. Present. Okay. Leave the bottle, please. Turn on the camera. Great job. Okay. Jamie Raquel Escobar Alfaro. Present. Awesome. Jolman Saúl Giron Sánchez. Present. Good. Carla Lorena Leiva Contreras. Um, I don't see her here. Lucy Natalie Juarez de Ramírez. Right here. Excellent. Nelson Antonio Rodas Rosales. Present. Thank you. Ruth Isela Joaquin Flores. Hey, okay. Samantha Marisol Campos Flamenco. Present. Excellent. And Vanessa Noemi Reyes Lemos. Present. Thank you. Give me just a minute. It's not dangerous. Um, I have seen this before. What do you think is the most difficult job in the world? Customer service. <laughs> no, don't say that. That's the easiest. Uh huh. Other than customer service, what is the most difficult? Maybe to be in president, I guess. To be president it depends on what. Imagine the to have in your hand the future, the economy from million persons. Yes. Million persons. <laughs> Run that by me again, please. Run that by you. me again, please. I'm gonna use wood. Would you run that by me again? Would you run that by me again, please? Everybody, would you run that by me again, please? Would you run <laughs> that by me again, please? Hey, guys, stop yelling and, oh my God, okay. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> I forgot what she said. Okay, so let's make this a little bit entertaining. I'm gonna send you a link. So you can watch difficult jobs and but I really I really want your thoughts about this video because this is the topic for tonight, so we will develop it just a bit. Okay. There's a link on your Zoom chat. We're gonna be here, it's just eight minutes, it's not a very long video. Let's watch it together. Come up with your thoughts, okay. And if you can, some words, some new words, if you find a new word.
teacher? You share or uh, um... it's uh, it's on the WhatsApp. I'm sorry, on the Zoom chat here on the chat of Zoom. But let me send it to the group as well. Okay, okay. There you go. <laughs> okay.
Ready whenever you are. Hi, teacher. Hello, Carla Lorena. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. How are you tonight? I continue sick. Is it COVID maybe? I think maybe it's COVID. You should go. Have you gone to the doctor? Uh, my daughter is a doctor, but I don't have a test. My daughter is a doctor. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. You should do a test. My mother has been sick for, I don't know, mm -hmm. like a month, but she lives in New Orleans, and she said that she went and did the test, and, and she has COVID again. It's like the third time she's got COVID. Wow. I I am sick. I have a uh, one month that I have that uh, I have been sick. I've been sick for a month. Really? <laughs> yes. God. Is anybody else sick at work? Uh, yes, a lot of people in the office. A lot of people, really? Uh, yes. Oh my God! Well, hope mm -hmm. you get better. Hope you get better soon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for joining us tonight. Don't worry. I understand if you cannot speak too much. I got it. <clears throat> yes, because I have a a, a problem with my. You with have a my... sore throat. You have a sore mm -hmm. throat. Yes. Okay. No problem. But okay, guys. I, I, am, I am in the in the. In I, the... I will be in the class. Yes, okay. Thank you. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Everybody. So, number one, yes. describe one of the situations or overall, you know, what's the overall topic on this video? The overall topic is that these people don't have a, in the, in, 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 in the area, in the works area, don't mm -hmm. have a, I'll say sentido común. Make sense? No. <laughs> oh my God. Common sense. Common sense. These yeah, people don't have common sense because um, <laughs> some, someone makes someone mistakes by um, by don't have a training, don't have the training rest. Yeah, the, 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 the training who who knew, who knew it, and the other is, is for junk. It's, uh, because uh, because um, a, a lot of clips of the video, it's uh, like a junk, bromas. A joke, jokes. A, a joke, jokes, jokes. jokes. Or, or pranks. Or pranks, exactly, yes. Pranks. Mm -hmm. and, the okay. other, and the other is, is somehow make somehow common sense. sense. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Can you um retell one of the little short videos? You know, what was the, the most shocking for you? What is the most shocking video? Who can retell? Okay, then for me they use when when the where where they have a a, a forklift because because I have I have experience in 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 in, in handle uh, forklift on handling uh, uh -huh. yeah on handling for, forklift is yes is don't have a tra the training don't see don't see the the products mm -hmm. and don't don't use correctly the forklift they don't use the forklift correctly. Okay. Unfortunately. Fortunately. Fortunately, Fortunately, the product is not broken because uh, 
was stairs. Eran, eran escaleras. Oh, okay. how do you say escaleras? Es, es, it's not stairs. Stairs. Stair stairs are the ones in your house. Oh. The concrete stairs. Uh, ah, okay, okay. Um, ah, no, I don't think for that. <laughs> Ivan, how do you say escalera? Stairway? Stairway, Stairway to ladder. heaven? No. Ladder. No, no, no. It's a, it's a song. That looks you got it, Daniel. <laughs> yeah, you got it, Daniel. What is it? Yes, ladder. Ladder. Yeah, ladder. ladder. Yeah. Mechanic, ladder. It, it, it was mechanic ladder. Exactly. <laughs> ladder. 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 Remember, the uh, una, una, chica, una chica por ahí me dio copia. <laughs> Carla, dio someone said ladder, yeah. I don't know. No sé quién fue, pero ella me recordó. <laughs> you want to remember that word? Don't forget the word lad. No. L-A-D, that's niño in, in British, English. Lad. When I was a lad. Okay. Okay. Great. Thank you, Daniel. That was excellent. Someone else. Someone else. Your thoughts about the video or just describe or over. What is it? Uh, retell a part of the video that you felt identify with or what is it? Okay. Exactly. Okay. Next stage. Let's go with some words. Did you get any words? Can you help me? I don't know English. How do you say this? How do you say per der al balance? Des li sarse? Colperse con un objeto cayendo. Sorry, equipo in a in a de in adequadamente. Combros, Morton, Morton, <gasps> Morton, respond. How do you say these words in English? Don't use the Google Translate tool, Adriana. That's cheating. I'm looking at you. Don't do it. Close, close, close the balance. <laughs> <laughs> close the what? Close balance. Lost balance. Lost balance. Mm. Lost balance. I lost balance. No. Mm. no. I lost balance. I think, think. How else can you say it? What other synonym do you know for lost? Lost balance. Uh, Isn't it loose balance? Unbalance. Unbalance. <laughs> yeah. uh, then I lost, lost balance. That's okay. Uh, then I lost balance, you know, and I. Uh huh. How do you say deslizarse? <gasps> Another one. There's a difference. Slide. Good job. Type it, type it, type it. I don't know if this is properly written in Spanish. Tropezarse. Tropezarse. <laughs> it's different. Slide. Deslizarse. Yeah, slide. Good. Type it, type slide. it. Slide. Thank you, Nelson. Slide. Yeah, slide. How, but, but how do you say tropezarse? That's, a, that's similar, no? Isn't it? If you slide. if you slide, you know what? This happens a lot in the United States when it's uh, snowing because the asphalt gets frozen. I mean, the asphalt and the entrances of the commerces for like, like the gas stations. The, oh my God, gas stations are a nightmare when it snows. Elderlies, elderlies tend to slide, slide on the entrance of, of these places, you know, of the stores in the gas stations. It happens a lot. Do you know, do you know what they do with the snow when it's, when it's frozen, when the street is frozen? What do they do, Hector? Black ice, I think in the name. <clears throat> Black ice. Like ice, mm -hmm. mm, when no, the but... when the snow is there, and and 
make a, a little superficie? What say? How do you say superficie in English? Surface. Surface. Good job, Daniel. Uh -huh. uh, surface and the and the people, not only elderly, elderly woman or men, uh -huh. uh, young men, young people is is slide and break the. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> God. You know, you know, three, three. Censored four. word, okay. It's not three mm -hmm. letters, but it's okay, don't worry. So, yeah, they, they break their bottom part of their back. <laughs> okay, yeah, I got you. That where happens. I knew you were going to say it, Daniel. Where the yeah. back look where the bag loses its name. Where the bag loses its name. But what do they use? What do they use to prevent this? When the ice is is frozen on the road, you know, on the asphalt. You don't mm. know? What do they do? Salt. What? Salt. Yeah. Salt. They use salt. I don't know why, but the salt smell the 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 ice smell. It does. Mm. It is melts. Uh, Melt. Ice melt. melts the ice. What? Salt melts the ice. I'm sorry. Salt melts oh, the ice. Melt the ice. Uh huh. And, and not the not the ice. ice, not the ice, but the ice. I know. Yeah, yeah. No, just ice. in case. <laughs> hey, but also in Canada, in Canada they use uh heat water, hot water. They use hot water. Of course, it all depends on the temperature. Okay, uh, so that's light. Golpearse con un objeto cayendo. Oh, wait, how, how do you say tropezarse? Nobody said. Because there's a difference, slide. right? Just slide? Slide. Okay, how do you say tropezarse? Slide. A fall is the action actually of going to the floor. Fall down. <laughs> fall down is also when you fall into the into the floor. And there's a little difference, a very slight difference between fall down and fall. You can fall on your knee, on your knees. You can fall, right. you can, <laughs> Jamie, you can fall on my arms, for example. <laughs> You can fall against the wall, okay? But you fall down, you fell down, you're going to the to the floor. You fall down. Okay, so how do you say tropezarse? Nope. What? Trip. Erika, come on. Trip? Trip? Yes. Yes. -I -P, trip. That's it. Trip. Trip. But trip isn't it like trip. going going to Distiando to what a lake or something? <laughs> this, isn't that a trip? Yes. But think trip the verb. Trip the verb. Tropezarse, right? And trip the noun. Road tripping, like what? Red hot chili peppers. Red hot chili peppers. Road tripping. Okay. Trip, trip, trip. Next. Golpeza con un objeto cayendo. Come on, people from Advanced One. Falling object hit. Okay, mm, give me the verb first. Hit object. Falling, no, falling, falling object hit. <laughs> you, got, you got that part. What about golpearse? Beat. To get bitten? To get Beat. hit? Hit golpear. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. To get hit sounds better. To get hit by a falling object. All of these words, or yeah, I just took them from the video we just watched. So to get hit by a falling object, I was hit on my forehead by a falling object. I don't know what what was it, but it was a falling object. It, I just saw it coming to me, and I got hit. How did he die? He was hit. 
he was hit by a fallen object. Okay, next. Usar equipo inadecuadamente. Using equipment. Equipment. No, no. There are many ways of saying that. Properly. Oh, Come on. Joelman, you're too quiet. Carla, Fatima, Nelson. Ruth, Samantha, Vanessa. Don't use, don't use EPP. <laughs> no. Maybe, uh, Adriana, huh? Sorry. <laughs> uh, maybe not equate. And and vectors. What so, does Google Translate say? No, I was <laughs> searching in the code. <laughs> okay. No. Google Translate. You can do it, yeah. Okay, what does it say? In inadequately, inadequately, that's a difficult word. Uh, e equipment? No, use oh. equipment. Use look equipment. look what Hector said. Incorrect equipment use. Incorrect mm -hmm. equipment use. Use the equipment incorrectly. That could be an option. Use the equipment wrong wrongly, wrongly or wrongfully. Wrongfully. Go go to go go to go to the translator. Wrongfully? Correct me. Mm -hmm. Use double L. You know, this part is the one that I hate. Wrongfully. When 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 a word has two or just one L, you know, when you make a, an adjective, you make an, an, adver an adverb, do you need two or one L? I always doubt with the one or two Ls, you know, wrongfully, wrongfully. To use the equipment wrongfully, okay? Incorrect, no, yeah. equipment use, equipment used wrongly. Wrongfully, I'm sorry. Okay, good job. Next, scombros. It sounds like French, scombros. Dribas, dribas. Yeah, that happens to me too. I go like debra, debra. I, I didn't know how to say that before. It was, oh my God, <laughs> what is it? You got it, you got it, Jamie. Think, think, think. It's not the E sound first, it's the U. A rubbish. Rubbish? That's British, my dear. That's British. We don't we don't speak British here. I'm so sorry. We don't we don't talk British. <laughs> and yeah, rubbish sorry. is like rubbish is like a little fresa way of saying. Scombros. Come on. Now the spelling, it sounds. Come on, Jamie, you had it. It's, it's like every. Dubris, Dubris. Oh, Dubris. Yes, Dubris. You know, a word that I tend to forget as well related to it. Debris. It's just the, 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 the writing. Look at this. It's written Debris. Debris. Okay. Debris. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. That's French. I knew it. Without the the the... the the apostrophe on the top of the I, I'm so sorry. Without the apostrophe on the top of the, okay. Debris, debris. Hmm. Debris, debris. Oh my God. And I used to say debris, no, debris, debris. Okay, another word that I tend to forget is cuneta. I, I can't remember how to say that. Okay, next, 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 next. We're almost done. Moreton. No idea. Injury. Yeah, that's uh yeah, that's that's the injury. Yeah. When you get hurt, you get an injury. 
a dip. I mean, a little dip, maybe. An injury. But what, what, how do you say moretón? Hello, Fatima. Good evening. No? The scarf, teacher? A scarf is actually that is led by an injury. After the injury heals, you get a scarf like the one that I will have after Thursday. This coming Thursday, I'm getting two scarves to my collection. Uh, no. Fatima, what? Hematoma. Put, put, wait, wait. Fatima? Purple. Purple. Mm, yes. Purple is the color. Hmm. No? Hematoma. Yeah, and hematoma is like, right, a moreton, right? So how do you call that? Bruce, maybe. Bruce. I was about to tell you what's Hulk's name. What is Hulk's name? Bruce Hulk. Banner. Oh, from Hulk. Matilda. <laughs> the Hulk. The Hulk. Bruce. Incredible it, man. <laughs> Incredible man, yeah. Bruce. Man, I love that guy. He's amazing. Incredibly Hulk. And, and the last, the last character, I mean, sorry, the last actor, this this guy, what's his name? Oh, my God. I forgot his name. I always forget his name. I support him on Facebook. He had an accident during a, a movie, you know, and he got better, actually, after that accident. <laughs> Amazingly. Okay. What's his name? I forgot. Yeah, I remember the the, the the news, but I don't remember the name. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't remember. Okay, well, so what's the difference? Respond? A respond is, is like an injury. Yeah. It, 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 it doesn't leave a scarf. Uh, that, that could be the difference. A scar is not left by a respond, right? It's left by an injury. An injury causes a scar, but not a respond. So what is it? It's something like a scratch or the wash. Ice, the ice age. <laughs> Scrap. Scrap. Scratch? Yes, yes, you got it, Ivan. Yes, scratch. Now, watch this. Scratch. It's a scratch. A scratch. Oh, don't worry. It's just, it's just a superficial scratch. It's just a superficial scratch. Nothing happens. Um, can you scratch my back? Scratch somebody's back. Now, as a noun, as a noun, a scratch. Okay. As a verb, scratch. Mm -hmm. Adriana, can you scratch my back? This is an idiom, is a phrase used by Americans. Hey, Hector, can you scratch my back? Please. Okay, it's like, cover me, okay? Tell the boss that I went um, I went with my family because of an emergency, okay? Make something up. Scratch my back, bye. You got it? <laughs> and what's the answer? Don't worry, I got Come on, I got your back. I want a t-shirt with that. Have you seen the t-shirt with the stick man? With the stick man drawing? I got your back. No, okay. Okay, let's continue with the class tonight. We have to talk about designing a list of trainings related to Come on. different jobs. <laughs> Teacher, relax. I'm relaxed. Okay. No clavation. I'll, I'll be like okay, Droopy. No I'll, I'll be like Droopy, okay? I'm so happy that you are here with me tonight. Let's continue with the class. And we have to talk about different trainings for related, related to different jobs, okay? Do you think that any of these employees? No, really. Do you think? Do you think that any of these employees really needed a training? All, all employees. 
all of them. <laughs> all of them. Oh my God. It's just the first guy, one of the guys really scared me. The one that was with this, the chainsaw. He was with a chainsaw cutting a piece of wood on the top. And the other guy was standing right next to him. I thought that he was going to, you know, like cut his leg or something with, oh God. That was so scary. These are really dangerous accidents at, at work. I mean, and it happens all the time. Did I tell you that I was an interpreter? An interpreter for an insurance for insurance companies. Um here in El Salvador, I was in a call center interpreting for insurance companies. Did I tell you about it? No? No, okay. Picture this. You are the interpreter on the line. And on one side, you have the insurance company. And on the other side, you have Felipe. Felipe is a Mexican guy who doesn't speak English at all. Okay. So Felipe calls you. Calls like, hey, que quiero hablar con mi aseguranza. Porque pues sí, estuve un pequeño problemita en el trabajo. Y me urge. Porque hay un mes aquí en la casa y no me han dado ni cinco los desgraciados. Digo, like, ok, no se preocupen, Felipe, yo voy a estar acá. Eso sí, yo voy a ser usted en el teléfono con en la aseguradora. Sí, sí, ya, ya he llamado antes, de hecho, porque no tenía el número anteriormente, me explicaron todo muy bien este volado. Ok, no problem. Ring. Hello, my name is Felipe. I'm calling you from. Da -da -da -da. Are you able to take my call? Oh, sure, Felipe. You're the interpreter, right? Yes, I'm the interpreter. Thank you. Let's go for it. First call is called the deposition. The deposition is a legal act where the insurance adjuster, just like when you have a car accident, right? There's a guy that goes and takes pictures and interview you, you know, inter interviews others. So the adjuster is in charge of determining how much money you're getting paid for the injury that you suffer in your job. So she goes like, okay. Hi, Felipe, this is Samantha. Nice to meet you. Hola, Felipe. Esta es Samantha. Mucho gusto de conocerte. Hola. Eh, eh, fíjate que yo le estoy llamando porque me dijeron que le llamara. I'm calling you because they said I should call you. Okay, yeah, sure. Um, let's go. Okay, no hay problema. Vamos a hacerlo. I said, vamos a hacerlo. Yes. <laughs> he was like, okay, uh, fíjate que tuve un pequeño problema en el trabajo. I had a little problem at work. Okay, what happened? ¿Qué pasó? Estaba trabajando con una tierra y entonces la tierra salió volando porque el bruto de Mario no se fijó. Y me cortó la pierna derecha. <laughs> I was at work, working with the chainsaw. Excuse me. God. And then the chainsaw, so, you know, it just went flying and it caught my leg. And that's a little problem. Oh, my God. Don't, don't translate that. Okay. I know. I know. Don't worry. Okay. What leg was caught by the saw? <laughs> ¿Qué pierna fue la que perdió, don Felipe? Uh, la derecha. It was the right leg. Okay. How many pieces? Felipe, ¿cuántas partes se le cortó la pierna? Tres, creo. Espérame. ¿Cuántas piernas? ¿Cuántas partes me cortaron vos? Tres. Oh, okay. Dice mi señora que en tres partes se partió. Uh, the leg was cut in three pieces. Are you translating everything? Yes, I'm interpreting everything that he says. He talked to his wife and the wife confirmed that three pieces were apart. And so that's real life, guys. It was the most terrifying call that I had because you have to impersonate Felipe. Oh, my God. 
You don't go like Felipe says that this and this happened. Man, that's terrible. And then that was my worst experience, you know, but then I had others like a finger, I don't know, um, and so on, right? So I just wanted to tell you how, how it feels to work in real life with these situations. It's really dangerous, okay? Um, what could Felipe, you know what? In the end, in the end, if you want to know, Felipe got a lot of money for losing his right leg because it was not his fault. And did the other employee got punished? No, Mario was not punished for his stupidity. No, it's just insurance. It's different, right? What happens here in El Salvador? I want to hear you. Jamie, what happens here in El Salvador if you suffer an accident at work? If you suffer an accident in your work, in your place, your work, and okay. um, first of all, the company must have uh, a plan or emergency, 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 an emergency plan. Yes, must be must have it, mm. and if the in the company are personal medical person, they can evaluate the the the, the work the worker, mm. and if 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 a a accident required a special Attention. Attention. Mm -hmm. Attention uh, they must bring to the hospital. Mm -hmm. And then uh, if you are complying the of if you compliance complete or realize the the reglamentary, the company must must combine the accident to the Ministerio del Trabajo. Mm -hmm. Let's convey, convey the accident to the Ministry of Labor. Okay. That's when you have insurance, right? I guess. Mm -hmm. No? Just when eh, eh, doesn't matter. Eh. Yes, because the company is, is formal, must be, must have at least uh, security, uh, social uh, security, yes, you're covered. Okay. You think this is everywhere, Hector, Ivan, Daniel, I don't know, Erika? Erika should know. Is this in general, like when you have just Seguro Social? Okay. What happens? I'm, I'm always curious, you know, because over there in the States, what I learned is that Okay, I cut my hand. So what they do exactly, what Jamie says, first aid. They cover the, the injury, they cover the injury. They, they try to tie it, you know, do a tourniquet or something. And then before you leave the building, before you leave the building, the human resource person in charge of this accident give you a little paper. If, she, if you cannot take the paper, she must put it on the on your pocket or something or a card you know call the insurance here's the phone of your adjuster the adjuster is the person in charge of you in the company call them once you're okay just give them a call okay that's the way it works but here's the sadler what do they do i mean they just take you to er right to emergency room and what who pays? Hmm. Nobody. Everybody's thinking, everybody's thinking at once, everybody's thinking at twice, everybody's thinking at three times. What eh. is, what is so, the question? 
I mean, I just, I'm just curious what happens in El Salvador if you only have ease, if you only have Seguro Social, right? And you have a, an injury at work. One one worker in the, in the, my company is uh, was uh, guarda recursos. How say it in English? Guarda recursos. It's a um, a guard. Protective the forest. A security guard. Mm, I think I know. Mm -hmm. uh, Brook break Brook till his his leg. He broken his leg. Uh huh. Uh huh, his leg, and the, the uh, he fill fill a document and present in the seguro social, mm -hmm. and uh, seguro social say, uh, hey, uh, it's right the the Mister Carlos broke broke his leg, yes he he was okay, and uh, uh, they paid, um not remember but no the the. Total uh, salary, mm -hmm. uh, but no no pay for no. They didn't pay um, for more 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 money. Only his uh, salary. Uh, mientras me while he was on disability. Uh huh. Re return his capacity capacity. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, mm -hmm. They they paid his disability time, right, Erika? They paid his disability time. Did they pay him in, in full, the full salary? I don't remember. Yeah, in March. But who, El Seguro Social or just, yeah, the company doesn't pay you anything. They paid him the full salary they pay him oh i'm sorry i didn't mean to write that um disability that's the way you call that period of time when you are disabled is a disability period and how do you call the paper the disability form disability form okay incapacidad okay it's this, available this, that's uh, it's nice <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not applicable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So, what are we gonna do next? Um, our task tonight is a little strange, but I want you to be very creative. As we spoke before, this is one of the reasons why it is important to train the workforce. There's a whole lot of things that you're supposed to know. Um, just to give you an idea, do you think that someone working with a computer the whole day from home or in an office, do you think this person should know at least a little about computer maintenance, you know, how the computer works in reality? Electronically speaking, do you think it is important? I'm gonna. I'm about to bring a puppet to the class. For me, like, it's just important teaching. because if you have a little, a little problem, you can, you can, you can repair. You can repair it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If, 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 if you have a, li a little problem, mm -hmm. but it's a, and it's a problem of software and another. Another uh, topic you need call to 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 service technician service IT to the IT, IT. department. Mm -hmm. You need to contact a technician, call the IT department. Okay, but what I'm saying is, you know, this happened to me once at Dell when I was working at Dell. It was very funny. We we were using Optiplexes, but 720 is the first big towers, you know, really huge towers. And I was in the middle of a call and someone said, hey, hey, be careful. And I heard a buzzing sound. You know what is a buzzing sound? 
Bazin. I'm not saying Bazinga, no? <laughs> you got it. Yeah, it's not the Big Bang Theory, no. A buzzing sound. That's a buzzing sound. It's what bees does. Fatima, do you know what are the little bees? Right? Buzzing. Uh -huh. Buzzing. buzzing it, uh -huh. It's B U Z Z. Okay. Oh. One of the few words with a Z on it. Okay. The bees buzzes. The bees buzz. Okay, so buzzing sound. And it was the fan. The fan of the PC was spitting really high. What happens when you have a lot of airflow from your fan on your PC is the the power supply, the box of the, with a lot of wires from the electricity is overheating. So the fan is trying to get more air to cool down. And if it doesn't cool down, boom. So somebody just run into my computer, unplug the cable from the power outlet, and we stepped away. Man, that was really scary. It was really scary. So at least a little bit of an idea on how to how what to do in these circumstances, right? What to do. If you smell like burning, right? You don't just go like, no, check the computer. Right? Even from the monitor, it's a danger. So that's my my idea. See? What to do? What kind of training you should give for each specific job? So I want you to be creative. And the first stage of this exercise that we're about to do is to make it entertaining. Okay. Number one, picture a difficult job. You can go on YouTube if you want. What is a difficult job? That's the first st step. For example, a very wet. No, it's not difficult, baby. That's not difficult at all. What about grabbing? How do you say this? Lifting, lifting manure from horses in farms. That's a difficult job. Lifting manure from horses at farms. You know what is manure, right? I'm using the, the, the soft word. Oh, come on. Fatima, do you remember Back to the Future? The movies? So the first, the second, and the third movie, the same thing happened. A big truck of manure falls into the car of this other guy. I can't remember his name. Oh. I forgot his name, the, the bad guy. You know, there's a scene where there's a big truck and it the, the manure always falls onto his vehicle, into his car. That's abono, for fertilizer, fertilizer for plants, mm -hmm. but from horses. It comes from horses. So <laughs> that's a difficult job. Okay, you got the idea. So picture a difficult job. Number two. Hmm. Requirement. Hmm. It's requirements to 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 do the job, you know. That's number two. And the third one, of course, uh, training needs. How do you need to be trained if you're gonna be picking up manure? What what should be your Abilities, your skills. Not having smell, maybe. Unable to smell anything. That could be an option. So be creative and just follow these three steps and come up with a little exposition, you know, about the job that you find that is really difficult. You can include some images if you want and just bring it to the class, okay? We're gonna have just 22 minutes. Is that good enough? Yeah, yeah, about 22, 32 minutes. So you can prepare something small and talk about it, okay? We got a plan? Deal? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, of course.
Okay. Yes. Okay, let's go, teacher. <laughs> I, I'm really thinking about the puppet, you know. I always wanted to have a puppet. I'm about to finish. Here we go. I'm about to finish working on the on the course that I'm creating. And I swear I'm gonna have puppets on my course. That's for sure. Okay, let's go. You can share your screen if you need to. Adriana, Joman, Nelson, Samantha, Vanessa, let's go. Yo estoy de que hay dos en el teléfono. Y en mi tú. Adriana, maybe Adriana. She's working with five screens, she said once. <laughs> okay. Guys, like a Batman. <laughs> may I stand up for a minute? Okay, okay. Thank you. I'll be right back. Okay. Um... Yes. The work. I... The work is ah. Uh? What is the the work most dangerous, most difficult, a difficult job? I look yeah. in, in 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 Google, and I see a lot of uh, a lot For me, of. Is the man that 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 are work in construction of building in the heights in the heights in the height of merits of the room. In El Salvador or or in different world. Yes, because in this country has been has been made a high buildings, tall tall buildings, and there is difficult. I know it. But if you if you uh, follow the instruction, um, the main capataz, uh, say say engineer, if you follow the the instruction of the engineer, maybe you uh, knock down the um, uh, difficult difficult. I don't know who say. If you use a helmet, use a, I don't know if you could say arnes. I don't know if it's in, in Spanish or it's English arnes. Harness. What? Har harness. 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 Uh -huh. harness. Sa safety harness. I, harness, like a cota. Yeah, but remember like, that like, the the H sounds like a J in Spanish, in English. So harness. Uh -huh. Yep. Harness. Safety safety harness. Safety harness. If you use if uh, use the safety harness, 
may be uh, the injury down, uh, I think. The possibility of getting but, injured will be less. Uh -huh. But be less. when he's doing social year, mm -hmm. but she is working. Ah, okay. Excellent. <clears throat> okay, Carla. Imagine what is the training, the difficult job. In my job or in any job? Yeah. Any job. Mm. Difficult job. Imagine. Uh. Astronaut. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Astronaut. Astronaut. That's complex, but not difficult. Yeah. Could be. Mm -hmm. Um. I think, I think, astronaut, um, Mason, <laughs> difficult jobs. <laughs> but difficult or dangerous? It could be a dangerous oh, job. Yeah, both, why not? <laughs> be creative. Because the, the, Work in the construction is dangerous because I saw uh, many accidents that the people die. I have seen. Yes, I have seen. Yes. Mm -hmm. Good idea. Good, 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 good. Uh, in, in one project, in, in I have no, I I don't have, I don't have in, I didn't have in this project, but uh, I know that the 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 <clears throat> the worker uh, was in the machine in the mixer. The, do you know the what concrete, the, mix? the concrete mixer? Uh -huh, the concrete mixer. Okay. And, and the the bath uh, he he is mm, he didn't finish to out the mixer and the bath he, he didn't turn off the mixer. Uh -huh, he did Mm, es que él estaba dentro, no sé cómo decirlo. Oh my God, o sea, he was no, inside no. the cylinder. El mixer adentro, ajá. The cylinder. Ajá. Sí, and, then. and then the bus, eh, maybe the machine was no was no turn off. Mm -hmm. And the bus eh, eh, into the cabin of the mixer and and he took on the mixer and the worker only have a, a leg into the mixer but when he took on the mixer uh, I don't know uh, como decir que lo solo tenía la pierna adentro pero el mixer como que lo jaló the, no. the mixer pull him into, uh -huh, the inside. Mixer, uh -huh, in, in, in the worker died because he the mixer, passed away. Yes. Oh my God. Yes, and the and the bus was Italian because the people Italian is in. Uh, I don't know some bien. They're very uh, 
Okay. Um, hmm. Mm, speedy. I don't know. Speedy. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Demanding. And, and he, he, the bus, he, he, bueno, lo tuvieron que internar en un hospital, porque si no, lo iban a mentir preso. En, en other worker, en, en other project, or other worker, in the first day that he started to, to work, eh, one, one machine lo aplastó, ¿no? ¿Cómo se dice? Smashed him. Uh -huh. Smashed, Smashed the him. Day, and it was... Uh, 31 of December. December 31st? Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> okay, guys. Now put all this into an idea. I mean, what, what, is it a difficult job? Is it a dangerous job? What kind of training do will you need for the job? But be creative. I mean, <clears throat> investigate a little bit if you can. Okay. 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 I don't remember. Helmet. Helmet. Yes. Casco, anteojos, tapones o orejeras. But, but it's the use the personal protection. It's al revés, the personal protection. Right. Arneses o cinturones de seguridad. Security harness, no, safety harness. Cúpala, picúpala. Sí, harness. Anteojos. Glasses. Ay, yo. ¿Cómo? Glasses. Ah. Glass. This. Which one? Other requirements? Complexion? Physics? Physical complexion? No complexion? Complex? Uh, Exercise days. Physical is pH, no? pH. Physical. Oh. Hmm? pH. Physical. pH Y. Uh -huh. También psicological, psicological, psychological, something, psychological. Uh, psychological. Mm. Uh, this. Oh, why? Is that um, there other know. requirements? 
Okay. Uh, in January. Debe ser licenciado, perdón, ingeniero. Un aerofinso. Ingeniero. 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 India, November, Golf, Echo, November, Echo, Echo, Romeo. Echo? <laughs> oh, you got it. <laughs> yeah. What? Echo, November. Hey, it's an alpha. It's a wine. Echo, Go November. Mm -hmm. Golf. Mm -hmm. India. November, Echo, Echo, Romeo. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Engineer, engineer. Mm. Possess passport. 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 Why? Que tienen que tener pasaporte por si lo llevan a otro país. <laughs> <laughs> o visa o algo, no sé. No, papeles en regla o algo. Creo que es un requisito de, de esta persona. Teacher, how, how do you say claustrophobic? I don't know. <laughs> claustrophobic. Claustrophobic. Usually phobics. Claust claustrophobic. Claustrophobic. Hold on. Don't make me spell it. Claustrophobic. Not being. Not being claustrophobic. The of the sign. But only on the specific. In this case, uh, electric, electric blue print, blue print. I think. Maybe. <laughs> Hmm. I believe that there are requirements and training in another. What is another? Let me see. Just picture a difficult job, requirements, and training needs. 
just three points. Where, where, where are the points, Adrian? Ah, in WhatsApp. <laughs> Okay. Oh, training is. Yes. Mm -hmm. We need to worry uh, about the training is. Yes. Mm -hmm. I believe that a uh, training is that could be a. Uh, is keep a good condition of health and physics. Uh, who would you repeat? To keep a good condition, good condition of health and physic. For example, do exercise because uh, they are they are climbing for the tower. Mm. Okay, but in this case, it could be a requirement. Uh -huh. I agree. Yes, I, I think this is oh, not a training. It's a requirement. Because oh. the, the training means is not a lot of training means because they know where all the all the no all the knowledge about the nutrition. The only the, the only training is the the blueprints of the company uh, where he where he works. Mm, yes. First I for the training needs, mm -hmm. I think, because uh, never, never know when it's necessary to use. Maybe if you have a shock, electric shock, mm -hmm. um, need, how uh, do you RPC? I don't know the name. CPR. 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 Mm -hmm. Tripio. <laughs> Wait, CRP? Cardio respiratory. I can CRP. remember. CPR. No, I remember CPR. From... Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. You must be have training of primera auxilio. <laughs> Cardio pulmonary <laughs> resuscitation. It's a different kind. Mm -hmm. Cardio pulmonary resuscitation. Wow. CPR. Okay. CPR. Mm -hmm. pero, pero, but but CPR. This, this training is, is not necessary for the for the for the nutrition. It's necessary for all the all, all the people. All people. <laughs> Yes, so all well, the people is necessary now. This, uh, this, como se dice? Como se dice? Training. Training. First aid. aid. Uh -huh. AID. AID. Okay. Then how to go for AID? AIDS. Hey, uh -huh. um, so if you pluralize it, if you pluralize it, there's a there's an S at the end. First, A I, I'm sorry. Yeah, A I D S. First AIDS. Ah, AIDS. AIDS. But pronunciation is very difficult. AIDS. 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 Uh huh. AIDS. First AIDS.
Hold, say, actualización. Actua, uh, Up, refresh. Refresh. Up, update. Update. Ajá, ajá. Update. Computer. Ajá, ajá, ajá. No, yeah, I, I know, I know. Update the update the rulers como como el no 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 sería eso safety training no no Teacher, what is, what is the name of the, the, this job? Uh, limpia, limpia cristales, limpiadores de ventanas, uh, glass cleaner. Glass cleaner or window cleaners? A window cleaner. Right? But you're referring to um, high uh, people who works on the heights, you know, of buildings, right? Yeah, yeah. It's like building, hold on, building window cleaner. Clean windows, glass cleaner. Building windows cleaner. Ah. Building windows. windows. Building windows cleaner. Building window cleaner. That sounds like difficult. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The person uh, necessita, uh, needs 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 uh, uh, technical knowledge, technical dexter, technical knowledge, technical knowledge, uh, high con concentration. The ability to perform repetitive work. Not be afraid of heights. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> um, I think that the kite training with my classmate. Primeros <coughs> auxilios básicos. ¿Qué? Okay. Conocimientos en primeros auxilios. Ah, uh, first training news. Eight. Uh, all right, great. Reading. Maps. Hello, what did you say? Rica. Ah, first, first, eight sites, eight, eight. First. First. A I D S A I I I no de puntito A I D D D D D S
I think that that's it. For say it. Okay. No, nah, I think that's it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What else? We are missing something or not? Um, ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? No sé qué más. Thank you, Finish. <laughs> Imagine work as a miner o miner. So, yo que soy claustrofóbica, Dios mío. Miner. Ah, yeah. Hello, teacher. Now, coordinate. Hi. Coordinate <laughs> who, who Erika is going to do the exposition. Erika. I'm just saying. <laughs> okay, what are you going to say? Good ones. Good ones to be <laughs> the teacher <of> tonight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hmm. So you're done. Okay, let me see if the other groups are done so we can go back. Okay. <laughs> you. <Yo. laughs> I think you're done, right? Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're not very convinced. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. That's I remember. <laughs> yeah, we finished the chat. Okay, let's go back in two minutes. Let's go back. Okay. Last time we went from three to one. Should we go from one to three this time? I know it. <laughs> what? No sabía. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh okay. okay, okay. We, we are ready as a, as a group number one. We are ready. Okay, let's do it. Now, okay. I have a challenge. Okay. I have a challenge for Ivan, Carla, Erika, Fatima, Nelson, Ruth, and Samantha. Listen to your classmates. Give me feedback if you hear anything. You can type it on the chat, on the Zoom chat, or just say it, okay? It's fine. Ready, three, two, one, action. Okay. Adriana. 
Yeah. Okay, um, we talk about the difficult job is transmission line maintenance. Uh, it has knowledge as a, an electrician people, I don't know. The next oh is... Keep going, keep going. Okay, the the job description is it's a it's a line technician is responsible for conducting routine maintenance and checks to ensure the operation efficiency efficiency of machine and equipment production. This people is in charge of of responsible for make for electric car. Electrical maintenance for the all the company. Okay. Um, the requirements to do the job is completion of electrician and apprentice apprenticeship experience working as an electrician, high school diploma, valid driver licenses. And the patient released from a te te technical college, deep electrical system, power generation, blueprints, maintenance, and required knowledge. Um, we think in the in the in the group, uh, the nutrition have all the knowledge basic for you for do her job. He only needs uh, trainings specifically in in the company where the where the where the person uh, works. The, the training who the electrician needs is to know the company procedures and regulations for transmission electrical lines and to know the company's electrical plans. And that's all we finish. Yay. Okay. We have time, so I'm not moving until one of the other two groups, you know, one person from the other two groups makes one question. Just one question. Related, of course, to what they said. Don't ask, Daniel, are you married? <laughs> yes, I'm married. I have a one boy. <laughs> <laughs> I have no a problem. son. I have a son. Go ahead. I have a son. No problem for me. It's, it's quality information for me. <laughs> Good. Okay. My, my brother, my brother, my brother say, i happy married. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> me too. Me too. I'm happy married. It's happy happily, married. happily married, happily, happily. Okay. happily. So and one... enjoy my enjoy my life. <laughs> mm -hmm. <Okay. laughs> Erica is going to make the question to this group. Okay, Mrs. Martinez, please. I prefer Carpio. <laughs> what? I no. prefer Carpio. Okay, Ms. Mrs. No, Carpio. Mrs. Carpio. Mrs. Carpio. <laughs> Mrs. Carpio, no Korean, please, in English. <laughs> we almost choose that 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 job anyway. <laughs> okay, what what do you think is better uh, to um, to hire a young boy or a young girl or an older girl or boy for the job, man. 
for the job. Okay, yes. Adriana, Adriana. Let's have Adriana. Let's have Adriana. Daniel. I think Sorry. I need to... Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm not sure, but I think that, uh, that almost um, any girl prepared for this. For this, almost, almost, <laughs> uh, any girl prepared for, for this kind of job. So it's not about what we prefer. It's, I think that is more about where is in the, um, what is the, the, the like the, on the market, in the mercado laboral, how do you say? Um, labor market. What? Yes. Yeah. Labor market. Okay. So, um, I, I think that a uh, a company can just like put in the requirements like like uh, we need a a boy or a man or something like that, <clears throat> and but in in this case, but. Uh, it will depend about the the experience that uh, the per the person have will have. So it's about the experience. It's not the gender. It's just experience. Yes. <laughs> hmm. But yes, there are there are women working on this field. Uh, but I think you were talking about high voltage workers, high voltage workers, and that's really dangerous. And some parts of the states I have seen, they, and of course, on movies or series or documentaries, I have seen that they use a helicopter. Sometimes they use a helicopter to fix the high voltage lines. And that's that's insane going on a helicopter because they first before they approach the high voltage line they throw a hook you know what is a hook right you remember the captain hook right so they throw the hook on the line they electrify the helicopter so they can just repair it oh thank you that was really good <clears throat> let's go with the second group if they are ready ivan and carla Who else was on that group? Okay. Okay. Uh, the the job is uh, building window cleaners. It's a difficult job. Um, I I think the the uh, the quite requires. Require this word is um for example don't be afraid of hate uh, good physical conditions any any others este aritus yeah or knowledge technical knowledge technical knowledge technical knowledge right thank you technical knowledge uh, physical dexter uh, Dexterity, experience. Uh, no, this, this. No, no. Skills, uh, physical skills, because you're talking about the stresses, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's, it's a work without super supervision. Physical abilities, physical abilities. Mm -hmm. e high concentrations. Um. Uh. To, I prefer, uh, we are prepared uh, training. We prefer? No, uh, the pre uh, prepare, prepare. We are prepared training. The, the job, uh, for example, um, training first I, uh, AAD, uh, training in the safety equipment, the training in the glass uh, cleaning the techniques. Techniques, okay. Mm -hmm. 
That's it. That's it. Okay. <clears throat> so now the opposite from Adriana's and Daniel's team and Eric's team. Do you have any questions? Can you make a question? To Carla. Is Carla available? Yes, it's okay. <clears throat> Okay, Fatima has a question, I think. Hmm. I don't have a question. Ah, oh, come on. Just one simple question related to the topic. So what was the job? What was the job? Windows cleaner. Building windows cleaners. Okay, well, what what is the most? Uh, I'll say the the most dangerous uh, routine. What is the most dangerous routine? Um, depend depend the the higher. Higher in the building? Depending on the heights. Yeah. The building yeah. and the heights. Depend the building and the heights. Um magic uh, the building and sixteens uh oh, pieces. Stories. Stories. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sixteen stories is difficult. It's difficult. Yeah. And the inclination, and the, and, the inclination uh, of the windows as well. Yes. Oh my God, it's gonna be crazy. Good job, good job. Thank you, thank you, Ivan. Thank you, Carla. Okay, and we're going with the last group. I don't know who's, who's gonna talk in the end. If it was Erika or who. Whenever you're ready, guys, group number three is with you. Us. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Why that picture? Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Why is the joke? Erica. Come on. <laughs> okay. We choose uh, that Chose. word. To be a minor, we choose chose 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 to work as a minor. Okay, uh, the minor is a person who extracts or cold. I think it's chalk and clay. Of course, the, they work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chalk, chalk, chalk or chalk. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, the, the requirements for us are used to the personal protection, like helmet, safety, harness, glasses, of course. Uh, the physical completion is necessary because, of course, they are working, uh, bro broken or breaking the rocks to find the minerals, uh, uh, psychological. Uh, a health mind or a psychological health because imagine to stay under the mountain all around is dark all around is dark just with a lamp on your head and that's it you and your pico <laughs> I don't know how to say it <laughs> imagine your peak your, with a peak CK uh, yeah, yeah imagine just that yes Maybe it, to be an engineer, because you need to use some specific machines. And of course, to take papers in order, because some of them used to travel. Uh, for example, I think there is one, there is one minor here in, in between Canada and the United States. And you need to have that visa, because the mountain is true in, in the, in the, ¿cómo se dice frontera? On the border. 
border. on the border. Mm -hmm. Yes, so you need to to move. Okay, the training leave is a mining regulation and codes about security because actually they have a law to be a miner. Actually, they have a law. Hmm. The, yes, the anaerobic resistance is like, of course, to work with enough oxygen, not like, uh, how, to, how to explain it? Like, to, to save oxygen to work hours or days under the tunnels. So practice, uh, we have to practice and simulate tunnels, but it, it, it is about to a special orientation because it's a tunnel and you need to move through different tunnels. Imagine if you lost inside of the mountain or inside of the miner. Of course, reading and entertaining maps because it's necessary to move inside the, the, the tunnels. And of course, first aid because first, first aid, because you know when you're going to need it of a coworker when you're going to need it. When you're willing to save someone. Excellent. Well, there will be no questions for this group. Thank you very much. It's 10 o'clock. And we gotta go tonight. I'm staying with who? Last time I stood with Ruth. I don't know if Samantha is available. Samantha. There she is. I guess. Hello. Hello. Yes, teacher. And will you stay 10 minutes? Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, guys, I'll see you tomorrow, same time, same channel. Adriana, Jose, Serna Durán. Present. All right. Daniel Antonio Luna. Present. Thank you. Erika Jasmine Martinez Carpio. Present. Good night. Fatima Denise Aguilar Marquez. Present. Good night, Fatima. Hector Francisco Morales Rico. Present. Good night, sir. Ivan Petrovic Guzman Aquino. Present. Thank you. Good night. Jamie Raquel Escobar Alfaro. Present. Good night, Jamie. Yolman Saúl Giron Sanchez. Present. So quiet, sir. Good night. Carla Lorena Leiva Contreras. Present. Thank you, Carla. Good night. Lucy Thank Natalie you. Juarez de Ramirez. She was here before. Nelson Antonio de Rodas Rosales. Present. You're still sick, right? Yes. Okay. Take care, man. Good night. Good night, teacher. Ruth Isela Joaquin Flores. Present. Good night, Ruth. Samantha Marisol Campos Flamenco. Present. And Vanessa Noemi Reyes Lemos. And here. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs> night. Hey, night. Good night. Good night. Okay, uh, Ruth. <laughs> I'm sorry, Samantha. Hello. Hello, teacher. Bien, esta sesión, se preocupe, solamente es como para conocerlo un poco, porque es la primera vez que estoy con el grupo. Lo que yo suelo hacer es tres preguntas bien sencillas, relacionadas un poco entre sí. Eh, la primera es como, ¿qué, ¿qué experiencia ha tenido con el inglés? Eh, sin mencionar nombres de academia, claro. Pero, ¿cuál ha sido su, esta, su experiencia con el inglés? Y, Número dos, dentro de esa experiencia, ha logrado identificar como cuál es su, su área de oportunidad principal, si es hablarlo, si es la gramática, uh, el entenderlo o hablar, o le dije hablarlo, sí, creo. Entonces, ¿cuál, cuál, cuál área cree usted que es la, la, la más um, necesaria de atacar? Y la última pregunta, ¿qué estoy haciendo, Samantha? Aparte de las dos horas de clase que recibo, ¿qué estoy haciendo para aprender? ¿Qué más? 
Ok, eh, la primera, eh, yo estaba estudiando intermitentemente eh, en academia eh, una, una hora por día, pero eh, siempre me quedo como a nivel avanzado, iniciando a nivel avanzado y, y ya por X o Y motivo siempre me termino retirando, entonces nunca concluyo y vuelvo a iniciar de intermedio, porque... Pero la verdad es que sí se me olvida bastante. O sea, como dejo de estudiarlo por un periodo un poco largo, que uno o dos años, eh, sí se me olvida y tengo que volver a, a iniciar en intermedio. Uh -huh. Y acá en la academia, ¿cuántos módulos lleva ya? Eh, llevo, este es el, el tercero. Tercer módulo, ok. Uh -huh. Ok. Eh... Bueno, sí se me hace un poquito pesado, sobre todo a la hora. Entonces, aún me cuesta acostumbrarme. La verdad que sí me está costando, pero no quiero desistir. Porque... Eh, ya está cerca. no, algo aprendo. Y, y con lo otro, la verdad es que más de las dos horas, no. Lo que trato es ya, eh, si veo alguna serie, ya verla solo en inglés. Hmm. Eh, porque antes siempre las ponía en español, pero ahora sí trato solo, solo en inglés. Siempre Ni con los subtítulos. Pues. Ah, con los subtítulos. Con los subtítulos, sí. En, ¿En inglés, en español, no. <ríe> Fíjese que funciona. Ajá. ¿Y qué pasó? Eh, ay, no le entendía mucho. O sea, la mayor parte de, de... Sí, le entiendo, pero hay cositas como bien puntuales y dependiendo de la serie, eh, como que ya tiene palabras bien... No sé si técnica. Ajá, Difíciles. Mm. Entonces, y bueno, con la otra pregunta... Lo que se me facilita a mí es escuchar, porque yo prácticamente todo lo que escucho lo entiendo. Eh, pero hablarlo me cuesta un montón. En mi mente lo digo bien, pero ya cuando lo, cuando lo hablo, nada que ver, me trabo toda. Mm. Y también la gramática, estoy, estoy bien deficiente. <risa> okay. Yo casi no lo he escuchado en las clases, honestamente. Pero, a ver, ver series, dicen que eso ayuda mucho, pero sí, la mejor manera es ponerlo con los subtítulos en inglés y pues hacerlo de tal manera ahora, pues con la tecnología, imagínense, es que, bueno, estamos en una era que es otro rollo, Yo cuando estaba pequeño no tenía la manera de regresar lo que estoy viendo para poder ver qué dijo. Ni mucho menos los subtítulos, controlar los subtítulos de lo que estoy viendo, eso no lo tenía. Pero sí, siento yo que ayuda mucho. Tengo compañeros que han aprendido jugando videojuegos. O sea, y porque están viendo qué es lo que dice el videojuego, le ponen títulos. Eh, igual, eh, en cuanto a... Me gustó una cosa que dice, que, que cree hablarlo bien, y, y eso es importantísimo. Si usted siente que lo habla bien, pues está fácil. Lo único que tiene que hacer es convencerse y soltarse. O sea, hablar así como se habla usted misma y, y hablar. ¿no? Porque mi mente lo, yo creo que lo hablo bien, pero ya a la hora de expresarlo, o sea, como que no, no, no termino de, de hacer la idea. Uh -huh. Y también, bueno, ya me lo estoy quitando un poquito, pero traduzco mucho en mi mente. Uh -huh. Entonces, poco a poco se me ha ido quitando. Entre más practico, digamos, o, o también lo que hago bastante, bueno, cuando me queda tiempo, es escuchar música y leer la letra. Un poco Entonces, caro que digamos. Ajá, algo así. <risa> okay. Que eso siento que no me ayuda mucho porque eh, a veces las canciones no, como que no tienen sentido. O, o no son cosas que uno normalmente diría. Es Entonces, horrible. Me a ver, se darse, a veces darse cuenta de lo que dice una canción, ¿verdad? Y uno cree que ¿Sí? qué bonito el ritmo, a veces era algo bien bonito la canción y después, no. Sí. Entonces creo que ayuda más las series porque ya es como mm. un, un diálogo más común, mm. algo que uno podría usar. 
fíjese que a mí Sinatra me ayudó mucho en ese sentido. De hecho, he ocupado frases de canciones al hablar, no le voy a mentir. O sea, Sí. incluso algo que me suele ocurrir es que cuando vemos un tiempo gramatical, uh, por ejemplo, el grupo que tengo antes de ustedes, estamos viendo el presente perfecto. Y alguien dijo, I have been... Y yo me acordé de una canción. Entonces, eh, o sea, realmente es, es bien útil la música al final, pero claro, dependerá de qué tipo de música. Es Sí. así. Adel, supongo. Algo Eso. así. Algo así. <ríe> ok. Mire, mientras que usted lo entienda, o sea, ese es el punto. Si usted logra Sí. entender, porque yo he conocido gente, eh, la persona que más me ha gustado cómo aprendió, que es gerente general de, un, de una academia grande, este, era muy humilde y aprendió con música de Eminem. De Eminem. Eminem, Eminem, no, Eminem. Ajá. Con la letra de ese aprendió, se me quedé. A ver, demostramos, le dije un día, le puse una canción de Eminem y Sí. La cantó. la cantó toda y yo, güey, qué, qué raro tu cerebro, le dije yo realmente. ¿no? ¿Cómo Sí. lograste eso? Pero súper bien, la verdad, es bien complejo eso. Primero Dios que, pues, le haya cualquier cosa, yo estoy a la orden, si necesita enviarme un audio, eh, hágalo, no más de 30 segundos. Eh, yo eso les, les digo a todos, grábense 30 segundos cuando ya sientan confianza en lo que están leyendo o quieran decir, grábenlo 30 segundos, me lo mandan y yo les doy el feedback, no hay problema, ¿ok? Okay, muchas gracias. Bueno, good night. Buenas noches. Good night. Bye, Bye, teacher. bye.